Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. That's if my heart's still working, and that's to bring out the final guest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Hemp BC President, Mr. Mark Emery. Hello, Mark. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? All right, welcome to the show. Good to be here. Please have a seat and be careful. Nordwar was here earlier. Okay. Scary stuff. Okay. Now, before we get into the uh, the goods and the bads, the uh, the facts about the legalization of hemp, I just have to ask you, what is the silliest thing you've ever done stoned? Uh, you know, I don't know. Mostly getting stoned is my silly hour, so most of the times it would be pretty silly activity, but nothing particularly distinguished. I'm not thinking too seriously when I get high in the evening, so I think it's all pretty silly. I see. Now, I understand, too, your hemp store, Hemp PC in Vancouver, uh, was recently raided by the police. Now, aside from the, uh, the Twinkies, the uh, chocolate chip cookies, uh, the chocolate bars, and the Freak Brother comic books, <laughs> what exactly was confiscated? Well, 25 police officers and about 12 vehicles trashed our place, messed it all up, took $105,000 cost in inventory, and that's a lot of rolling papers and a lot of bongs, let me tell you, but mushroom kits and a whole bunch of other nifty stuff. But basically our whole inventory less for less a few clothes they left behind. Okay, now this entire situation, it's blown over. This was like a month or so ago, two months ago. What has transpired since? Well, we've come back more defiantly. We've opened a marijuana grow store to help people actually grow the plants. We sell them books next door that show them how to grow the plants, and we provided seeds for them to Germany. And we even have a cafe plan where people can get high at each table and eat marijuana and hemp foods, all within the same block. Interesting. I understand you sell seeds at Hemp BC, too. That's correct. Yeah, Not seeds. as many as we used to. We have to be more discreet because that brought on the police raid from the United States, we think, that they called our guys and they said, get this guy. Because mm -hmm. we had sold 100,000 seeds in a very short period of time, under a year. Yeah. Okay. Now, when people use marijuana as an intoxicant, uh, how do you react to the suggestion that this activity leads to more serious drug uses like uh, LSD, uh, crack cocaine, heroin, or, or dare I say, extra strength Tylenol? Well, maybe we should just look. I've never had any experience with those drugs, by the way. It's not, I think people tend to use the drugs in their social circles. So in my social circle, most people are 35 to 40 with teenage children, and we're all working, so we don't ever encounter this kind of thing. But if you're a young person, you have friends who would be doing dangerous drugs, and you're likely going to be influenced by your friends, not so much by the drugs you're surrounded by. I have no experience in that. All I know is that 2 million marijuana smokers and 5,000 heroin addicts show that there's still a large number of people who never approach hard drugs. I see. So you don't think there's really a direct correlation between pot use as an intoxicant and more serious drugs? No. Serious drugs, legal or illegal, are always a result of pain and suffering that people at a young age or middle age or any age suffer and they turn to these kind of drugs to alleviate the pain they're feeling. Uh, people who don't have pain, you find, don't have drug problems. Uh, just one moment, Mark. Uh, I've got a phone call. This is ridiculous. We're trying to do a show here. Hello. Uh, Mr. Fink. No, listen, there isn't a bomb. No, look, listen, it's probably just a hoax. No, no, I haven't been watching the news. Look, Mr. Fink, look, I've got to go. I, I can't talk right now. Sorry about that, Mark. Uh, that's just the landlord of the building. Nothing to worry about. But uh, let's just move right along. Pretend that didn't happen. I apologize. I hope you're not embarrassed. I know I am. Um, if hemp was legalized, would it pose a threat to multinational corporations? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I'm sure Mac Blow would be right in there planting hemp on their clear cuts. I'm sure Scott Tissue Paper would be putting hemp right in the toilet paper they manufacture. I mean, anything, I think companies will gain a lot in prestige and advertising by not using trees and, in fact, using hemp. In fact, the, the sad fact may be that after little guys like myself and a lot of others get hemp legalized, the mass multinationals will, in fact, be the biggest profiteers of hemp, once it's there, which is still all right. I mean, that's as good an incentive for them as it is for me. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the more useful aspects of marijuana to, say, Canadian society? Well, first of all, it's $800 million industry in British Columbia alone. That's more than all other resource-based industries combined. And we could double and triple that, virtually wipe out unemployment in British Columbia, provide uh, a good living for everybody on social assistance. We could wipe out welfare, for that matter, by just getting everybody to grow more pot. You can make $30,000, $40,000 a year minimum by a simple room full of marijuana. That means anybody who's handicapped or has children or is simply unable to get a job in the other workforces. Right. Okay, we're just about out of time. Just they one can quick grow question, pot. though. Yeah, what, uh, what duties still remain, though, 
for your dream of legalized hemp to become a reality? What do you have to do, just quickly? Uh, just drag the rest of the country along, kicking and screaming, and then uh, hopefully the politicians will notice that the people have changed the way they feel about marijuana and its legalization. Terrific. Thank you, Mark Emery, for being on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Glad Mark Emery, uh, president of Hemp BC. Uh, we have to take a break, though. Uh, we'll be back right after this.